Get my book today, A Guide to Coin Hunting from the most subscribed coin channel in the United States, Couch Collectibles, only available on couchcollectibles.com. Pretty short video today, we're gonna be looking at the 1980 Roosevelt Dime and what these coins have sold for at auction. So welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day as always. If you guys are new, feel free to check out all the other coin videos here on the channel. We are uploading every single day. So as always, let's just hop into this one. All right, starting off first here with a mint error coin, the 1980 P Mint Mark Roosevelt Dime that has a partial collar with a brockage here on the obverse of the coin. The coin is authenticated by NGC. Pretty obvious mint error. Of course, you don't need a coin microscope to see errors like this. You can see this uh, just holding it in your hand, right? This coin ended up selling at auction for $225. Now this next coin here sold for $525 at auction. It does not have any mint errors on it. The reason it sold for that price is because of its condition, the grade itself. It is graded at a mint state 66 with the full torch or full bands. Here's an example of what full bands is. It's a designation that coin grading companies will give your coins. A little bit difference between NGC and PCGS, so you can check that out on their website of uh, what they require for full torch or full bands. Uh, but this coin here in this condition, that's what gives it the value. If there's not many graded at a Men's State 66 with the full torch, uh, then of course the demand rises and in which increases its price. But if there's tons of these graded at a Men's State 65, then those are going to be common to have in that condition. So it all depends on the grade population. Now here's a 1980 Roosevelt dime that has been double struck. Again, a very obvious mint error here as we zoom in there on that double strike. Uh, second strike is 85% off center. It is authenticated by NGC and this dime only sold for around $30 at auction. Pretty surprised by that one. Um, I don't know, I think it's worth 30 bucks because it probably cost uh, that or more to have the coin graded. Now here's a 1980p mint mark. This is just a high grade example. It's uh, graded by PCGS at a mint state 67. Uh, that's where all the value is at. It sold years ago for around 30 bucks, but hey, never know, it might sell for uh, a little more nowadays. But here is a 1980p mint mark Roosevelt dime that does have a nice indent here on the obverse. It does have a partial collar around the rim of the coin as well. It's graded by PCGS at a Mint State 63, and this Roosevelt dime only sold for around $16 at auction. Unfortunately, not a super rare coin there. But here is a 10 cent coin, a Roosevelt dime from 1980 that sold for $50 at auction. Looks very normal here on the front, but on the reverse, we are missing that outer clad layer. That's why we see the inner copper layer of the dime here. And that's where all the value is coming out for this coin. It's graded by Annex at a Men's State 64, 50 bucks for that coin. Now this coin is the opposite, so we're missing the obverse clad layer as opposed to the reverse clad layer. This is graded by NGC at a Men's State 62. And this coin ended up selling for uh, over $55. So about the same uh, price range there, $50, $55. Now here's a 1980 dime that was struck off center, graded by Annex at a Mint State 64. This dime ended up selling for around $25. And then here's another example of an off center struck 45% off center as opposed to 15% off center like the last coin. This dime ended up selling for around $50 at auction graded at a mint state 63. Now here is a pretty valuable coin. This coin sold for over $800 at auction, and that's because we have a Roosevelt dime design that was struck onto a defective copper core. So the copper core, uh, you know, just like any other dime or uh, clad uh, coin, you know, or clad uh, quarter, you have that inner copper layer of the coin. This is the copper core that only weighs 1.4 grams. It's defective copper core, and this coin ended up selling, like I say, for $820 at auction, graded by PCGS. In 1980, we also have the proof coin. Of course, that will be the S mint mark. The proof coin will be very shiny, have that mirror-like finish. This is the coin that you will find in your 1980 proof sets. This coin sold for $160 because it has that perfect grade of a Proof 70 Deep Cameo. Now that doesn't mean that if you take your uh, 
uh, dime out of your proof set and get it graded that it's going to grade at a 70 or sell for $160. This is just what this coin sold for at that time. Uh, perfect grade, you might get a proof 69 grade and then you're out a lot of money and wasting your time on having the coin graded. So uh, coins like this that are very common, you're going to have to, uh, you know, you're gonna have to get those top grades depending on the grade population for the coin. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out those videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.